Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, General Dennis Bai awarded the winners from AMC's Best Warrior Competition, then traveled across the command to welcome in two new commanding generals. AMC headquarters was visited by many special guests, including the British Army's senior logistician. General Bai and AMC teamed up with General David Perkins and the U.S. Training and Doctrine Command to co-host the Army's third Innovation Summit, before heading back to Redstone to host AMC's Global Town Hall. It's episode 26 of AMC Monthly Review. On August 3rd, after three days of intense competition at Camp Atterbury, Indiana, General Vi announced the winners of AMC's Best Warrior Competition. Sergeant First Class Alexander Garcia was named AMC's Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year, and Sergeant Mitchell Keaton was named the Soldier of the Year. The winners will compete in the Army Best Warrior Competition at Fort A.P. Hill, Virginia from September 26th through October 3rd. Throughout the month of August, AMC headquarters had many visits from distinguished guests to include Lieutenant General Paul Jakes, who is the Chief of Materiel and Quartermaster General to the Forces for the British Army. The Honorable Katrina McFarlane, the Army's top technology executive, visited AMC next and was greeted by AMC's most senior executive, Ms. Leisha Adams. McFarlane oversees Army research, development, and total acquisition lifestyle activities that totaled more than $20 billion in fiscal year 2016. AMC also received a visit from the Army's newly appointed Deputy Chief Management Officer, Mr. Carl Schneider. Schneider, a 19-year veteran of the Senior Executive Service, addressed more than a dozen civilian senior executives from Redstone Arsenal at the Defense Acquisition University. From August 9th through the 11th, General Vi attended the change of command from the Research Development and Engineering Command, where Major General Cedric T. Wins was welcomed in as RDECOM's new commanding general, and the change of command for the Army Sustainment Command, where AMC's former Deputy Chief of Staff, Major General Edward Daly, was welcomed in as ASC's new commanding general. In between those changes of command, General Vi sat down with headquarters AMC's Kimberly Hansen to discuss his career and the state of AMC. During the interview, General Vi talked about a former custodian worker from AMC who asked him for a recommendation to become an officer in the Army. I remember he was afraid to ask me for a letter, but he asked my executive officer and I said, sure, I'd, I'd love to write you a letter um, to attend officer candidate school. That young man, Jonathan Perry, recently returned to AMC as a first lieutenant assigned to the 101st Airborne Division to pay his respects. And it was a proud day when he and his parents came to my office. And I told him it'd be a remarkable story down the road if you were to become the commanding general here and you say, you know, one day, I mean, I used to clean this office and now I'm the commanding general. But I looked at him in the eye and I said, you can do that though. From August 16th through the 17th, AMC co-hosted the Army's third innovation summit along with TRADOC at the College of William and Mary. I think it's important, in fact it's critical when we're in this period to pause, slow down, and ask ourselves, are we doing things right? But more importantly, are we even doing the right things? The event brought together more than 250 leaders from industry, academia, DOD, and Army to explore processes to achieve innovation, expand collaboration efforts, and refine the innovation initiatives developed at the first two Army Innovation Summits. On August 18th, General Vi hosted AMC's Global Town Hall. He thanked the team for their collective efforts and highlighted a few significant numbers to express the magnitude of work that AMC has accomplished since he's been in command. AMC has retrograded about 5.7 million pieces of equipment and closed 697 bases in Afghanistan, completed about $60 billion in foreign military sales, and earned an additional two Shingo Awards and 20 Safety Awards over the past four years. To find out more about these topics, visit AMC's webpage. And thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.